Hi, my name is Alfred Brock, and today we're going to talk about Kratom. What is Kratom? Well, they can uh, look at the uh, National Institute of Health in their uh, drugabuse.gov section. They're asking the same question to you. What is Kratom? And they're giving us an answer. And they're stating that Kratom is a tropical tree, Mitragyna speciosa, native to Southeast Asia. It has leaves that contain compounds that can have psychotropic, that is, mind-altering effects. Kratom is not currently an illegal substance and has been easy to order on the internet. It is sometimes sold as a green powder in packets labeled, quote, not for human consumption, unquote. It also, contain, it also sometimes is sold as an extract or a gum. Now, how do people use Kratom? Most people take Kratom as a pill as packaged, a capsule, or an extract. Some people chew Kratom leaves or brew the dried or powdered leaves as a tea. Sometimes the leaves are smoked or eaten in food. Now, how does Kratom affect the brain? Kratom can cause effects similar to both opioids and stimulants. Two compounds in Kratom leaves, uh, mitragynine and 7A hydroxymitragynine, interact with the opioid receptors in the brain, producing sedation, pleasure, and decreased pain, especially when users consume large amounts of the plant. Mitrogenine also interacts with other receptor systems in the brain to produce stimulant effects. When Kratom is taken in small amounts, users report increased energy, sociability, and alertness instead of sedation. However, Kratom can also cause uncomfortable and sometimes dangerous side effects. I'll just take a moment here to state that the fact that it has uh, pain reduction uh, uh, capabilities and uh, is also a stimulant were two of the reasons probably why it was used to administer to slaves and prisoners during the time it was very popular in earlier centuries. Now, what are the health effects of Kratom? Reported health effects of Kratom use include nausea, itching, sweating, dry mouth, constipation, increased urination, loss of appetite, seizures, seizures, and hallucinations. Symptoms of psychosis have been reported in some users. Question is, can a person overdose on Kratom? There have been multiple reports of deaths in people who had ingested Kratom, but most have involved other substances. A 2019 paper analyzing data from the National Poison Data System found that between 2011 and 2017, there were 11 deaths associated with Kratom exposure. Nine of the 11 deaths reported in the study involved Kratom plus other drugs and medicine, such as diphenhydramine, which is an antihistamine, alcohol, caffeine, benzodiazepines, fentanyl, and cocaine. Two deaths were reported following exposure from Kratom alone with no other reported substances. Now, in 2017, the FDA identified at least 44 deaths related to Kratom, with at least one case investigated as possible use of pure Kratom. The FDA reports note that many of the Kratom-associated deaths appeared to have resulted from adulterated products or taking Kratom with other potent substances, including illicit drugs, opioids, benzodiazepines, alcohol, gabapentin, and over-the-counter medications, such as cough syrup. Also, there have been some reports of Kratom packages dietary supplements or dietary ingredients that were laced with other compounds that caused death. People should check with their health care providers about the safety of mixing Kratom with other medicines. For myself, I also advise, as an individual, that you check with your health care provider about the safety of Kratom itself for your own personal use, if you're thinking about taking this unproven, untested, unqualified material. Now, is Kratom addictive is another question. Well, like other drugs with opioid-like effects, Kratom might cause dependence, which means users will feel physical withdrawal symptoms when they stop taking the drug. Some users have reported becoming addicted to Kratom, and withdrawal symptoms include muscle aches, insomnia, irritability, hostility, aggression, emotional changes, runny nose, and jerky movements. Now, how is Kratom addiction treated? Currently, there's no specific medical treatment known for Kratom addiction. Nobody's practicing it. Some people seeking treatment have found behavioral therapy to be helpful. 
scientists need more research to determine how effective this treatment option is. Of course, for them to do that, they would need a body of individuals who are actually experiencing these terrible effects and impacts. So, uh, does Kratom have value as a medicine? Well, in recent years, some people have used Kratom as an herbal alternative to medical treatment in attempts to control withdrawal symptoms and cravings caused by addiction to opioids or to other addictive substances such as alcohol. There is no scientific evidence that Kratom is effective or safe for this purpose. Further research is needed. Obviously, the physical responses from an alcoholic's body towards the withdrawal, the uh, uh, instantaneous withdrawal, for example, from alcohol will not be countered by Kratom. Let's say Kratom reduces pain and increases uh, activity. Well, the body is still impacted by the sudden removal of alcohol from the body, and those physical processes are not going to stop, which can result in disability or death. And if you're thinking, if you are an alcoholic and you want to stop using it immediately, you really should talk to your medical health advisors and providers in order to work out a plan for you to withdraw from that and get away from the alcohol. Kratom is not going to stop those physical and deadly, perhaps deadly processes from going on in your body uh, concerning alcohol. Now, points to remember, just to reiterate what we talked about, Kratom is a tropical tree native to Southeast Asia with leaves that can have psychotropic effects. Another is Kratom is not currently illegal and has been easy to order on the internet, which is not to say that, from my point of view, right, just because it's easy to order on the internet does not make it a good thing. That's just easy to order on the internet. Most people take Kratom as a pill or capsule. Some people chew Kratom leaves or brew the dried or powdered leaves as a tea. Sometimes the leaves are smoked or eaten in food. And two compounds in Kratom leaves, mitodrinine and 7A hydroxymitodrinine, interact with opioid receptors in the brain, producing sedation, pleasure, and decreased pain. Mitodrinine can also interact with other receptor systems in the brain to produce stimulant effects. Reported health effects of the Kratom use include nausea, sweating, seizures, and psychotic symptoms. Now, commercial forms of Kratom are sometimes laced with other compounds that have caused death. That's not good. Uh, some users have reported being, uh, becoming addicted to Kratom. And finally, behavioral therapies and medications have not specifically been tested for treatment of Kratom addiction. Now, to go on with this just a little more, let's take a look at what the Mayo Clinic has to say, and then we'll wrap up this What is uh, Kratom video. Uh, Kratom, uh, the, one, the article we're looking at right now is Kratom for Opioid Withdrawal. Does it work? Well, Kratom is promoted as an aid in overcoming withdrawal from opioid medications, but research suggests that it leads to more health problems than it solves. If you take pain medications such as oxycodone, oxycontin, or roxycodone, for a long time, your body becomes used to these drugs and dependence may develop. In fact, dependence will develop within um, 30 days and then addiction 60 to 90 days following that if you constantly take opioids. That's what happens to your body. Okay? So if you become dependent, you may experience unpleasant physical signs and symptoms such as sweating, trembling, and cravings. When you stop taking the medications, that process is called withdrawal and it may last for several days to weeks. Because withdrawal can be unpleasant, many people look for ways to ease their symptoms. Getting extra rest or doing things that are distracting, such as watching TV, helps some people during withdrawal. Other people take medications or substances to try to reduce their symptoms. Kratom, which is an herbal extract from the leaves of an evergreen tree, Mitogena speciosa that grows in Southeast Asia is one substance that is promoted as a treatment for withdrawal. Kratom is sold as a dietary supplement and is not currently regulated in the United States, but federal agencies are taking action to combat false claims about Kratom. In Asia, people have used Kratom in small amounts to reduce fatigue or treat opioid addiction. In other parts of the world, people take Kratom to ease withdrawal, feel more energetic, relieve pain, or reduce anxiety or depression. People take Kratom to ease withdrawal because Kratom evokes feelings of euphoria and may be obtained more easily than drugs prescribed for withdrawal. It's natural, but it's not safe. Because Kratom may ease withdrawal symptoms, researchers have studied it as a potential treatment. The evidence suggests that rather than treating addiction and withdrawal, the use of Kratom may lead to them. 
In one study, people who took Kraton for more than six months experienced withdrawal symptoms similar to those that occur after opioid use. Over time, people who use Kraton may develop cravings for it and need the same medications that are used to treat opioid addiction, such as buprenorphine, also known as buprenex, and naloxone, Narcan or Evzio. When Kraton is used during pregnancy, the infant may experience symptoms of withdrawal after birth. As with pain medications and recreational drugs, it is possible to overdose on Kraton. The treatment for Kraton overdose is similar to that for opioid overdose, and people experience many of the same treatment problems, Kraton, same, same treatment problems. Kraton has caused at least 36 deaths, and although people may enjoy the good feelings that Kraton could produce, Kraton has not proved to be an effective treatment for opioid withdrawal. Thank you. This concludes the video for what is Kraton. Please uh, like and share, and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.